Well, thank you very much for the chance to speak with you, first of all. So the United States is very proud of our relationship with Libya. We have a deep and historic relationship. Um, at present, uh, we're working very closely to achieve an end to the violence and a return to political dialogue. Um, as a friend and partner of Libya, the United States very much wants to see a stable, unified uh, future for the country so that Libya could stand on its own as a force for stability to ensure stability and prosperity for all of its people. And in that regard, I'm very excited about the possibilities for the bilateral relationship between the United States and Libya to develop um, once we're able to move on from the, the end to this violence. Uh, we have a deep economic relationship. U.S. companies are quite interested in opportunities in Libya, as are Libyan companies in the United States. Uh, that cooperation could be expanded further, as could our cooperation uh, in terms of culture. Uh, we'd very much like to see that develop, and a critical step in accomplishing that is achieving an end to the violence. We very much would like to see an immediate end to the fighting, a return to political dialogue. Too many Libyans are, are suffering. Uh, Ten months into a very costly war, uh, we're extremely concerned about the number of civilian casualties, about the humanitarian impact of this fighting, uh, as Libyans face uh, high prices for food, challenges uh, to the electricity network, difficulty getting gasoline. Uh, travel uh, is very difficult and in many cases dangerous. The, that humanitarian impact is very much in focus for us. In order for Libya to move forward, and I say this as a partner and friend of, uh, of the Libyan people, we very much would like to see an end to this fighting. Uh, that is a critical first step to achieve a lasting ceasefire so that Libya could move forward and accomplish its tremendous potential. Uh, I had the opportunity to serve in Libya for two years prior to the revolution. Uh, I've traveled around uh, the amazing and beautiful country from Tripoli to Benghazi to the south. Uh, Libya has limitless potential, and it's something that the United States is very keen to support all of our Libyan friends and partners as they chart their own way forward. And the United States very much supports uh, the UN-facilitated dialogue, which aims to bring together Libyans uh, with respect to political, economic, and security issues so that the Libyan people are able to chart their own way forward. Uh, we have been very proud uh, to support this conversation. Uh, last month in Berlin, Secretary Pompeo joined other world leaders in voicing clear support for, the, for UN mediation, sole mediation under the United Nations, UN facilitated dialogue. Uh, there is tremendous work to do in order for this dialogue to be successful. Um, I think it's critical that uh, everyone who wants to see Libya move forward, inside and outside, do everything they can to support this conversation. Uh, peaceful dialogue is the way forward. Uh, violence, military action, violations of the arms embargo, uh, reliance on, on foreign military partners. Uh, I do not believe these things are compatible uh, with what Libyans want, which is to see their country uh, achieve the stability and prosperity that Libyans deserve. And we very much support what the UN is doing and are happy to be their partner in this. Thank you.